So what's happening, YouTube? This is your man, Paul Radio Man 2094 here. You know, back in with another video. But today, we're going to take a look at some accessories for the iPod Touch. Now, of course, you already seen the shock-resistant uh, bumper case. Six bucks on that one. I'll leave the link up in the description. You guys want to check this one out. Like I said, I'm keeping this one on for good on this on my iPod Touch. Because it makes it feel like more manly, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And of course, we got a little partial case we're going to take a look at. This one's going to run you 10 bucks. And it comes with like a little clip. This will probably be the first one I start off with. And of course, we got a little charging dock with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack from a company called Dodo Cool. Now, this one's going to run you 13 bucks. I'll leave the link for this up in the description. It's at walmart.com. But on that note, let's get into the video. Yeah. All right, so like I said, you can buy this uh, that bumper case for six bucks on Amazon. Like I said, I'll leave the link for this up in the description if you guys want to check this one out. And of course, it's been lasting me a good while, and of course, the screen protector is pretty clean. Like I said, I'm keeping this one on for good because this one's pretty durable, pretty sturdy. Hey, it is what it is. All right, so let's take a look at this case real quick. Now, this one, it's going to run you 10 bucks on Amazon. And I'll leave the link for this up in the description if you guys want to buy it. Of course, it comes with, like, your little uh, strap. But if you don't like the strap, you can always take that off. It comes with, like, a little carabiner clip. Where you can just watch. Let me find that little opening. All right. Hold on, guys. There, there it is. You can even clip this on your belt if you want. But personally, I can't see myself doing that type of, you know, shit. So, I'm just going to wear the strap. It is what it is. But real quick, let's uh watch. Let me go grab some real quick. Stand by. Alright, so I had to go grab my little lightning adapter. Because, watch this. Watch, I'm going to put this down though for a second. Of course, here's a little sleeve to put your uh, iPod Touch in right here. So, we're going to do that real fast. Now, of course, I've been using this one for a couple days. I'm impressed with this. He already it came with like a little package, you know, like a little clear package. You guys didn't want to see that shit. So it is what it is. Alright, here it goes. You'll get a better fit if you just took the case off, but like I said, I'm keeping this case on for good, so hey, it is what it is. So we're gonna leave this in here real quick. Sorry if I'm sounding a little off. I'm like half tired. I got to go into work tonight. So it is what it is. So I'm awake. So here I am making the video. So of course, you move, move the little fabric thing right there. Put your 3.5 millimeter, uh, well, your lightning adapter in here. 3.5 to lightning adapter in there. Even if you want to store the clip, you could do that if you want. Store money, store SD cards, store more like another charger, anything basically. Anything small and compact, you know. But real quick, let's close the case up. Okay. And then even though it has like the the case on the iPod inside this hard shell case. 
still still pretty durable you can hear the bouncing on the table and it's pretty durable hard shell status right here Let me dust that off real quick yeah and it pops right back in the shape so don't worry about it <laughs> but yeah 10 bucks on this on Amazon of course check this one out now let's take it over to the big boy real quick the Dodal cool lightning dock with 3.5 millimeter headphone jack standby All right, so now let's unbox this Dodo Cool um, Lightning Dock with 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This one's gonna run you 13 bucks on Amazon. So let's take a look at this real quick. Now, of course, it's you guys get the idea on what this is. Of course, it's made for iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 6 Plus, and 6. And then iPhone 5, iPod, iPod Touch. And of course, you, you see that it's compatible for those two right there. So, okay, let's take a look at this real quick. Let me uh, dust off my iPod. Let's get into this, you know. So, hopefully, you guys are having a good week. So, we're not off to a bad start. Even though this is the second month of the year, you know, I'm waiting for this fucking pandemic to end, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to unbox this real quick. Alright, so starting off, you got your USB-A to micro USB charging cable. Okay. And of course, this is going to be your little dock. And then there's nothing in here like you see. And of course, this is the little clear part that goes in. Like that. And of course, this is fully adjustable, so you could have it at any angle and stuff. And then this will stand up your iPod and stuff like that. Let me just dust this off. And of course, here's a little... Insert right here for your micro USB cable and then a and then little input for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All right, let me go set this up real quick and then I'll be I'll be back in. Stand by. Oh yeah, another thing, I'll uh, leave the link in the description if you guys want to check out an, a new portable charger for your phone. This is the Pocket Juice Endurance AC 10,000 milliamp hour battery. But we're gonna use this for to test out the charging part on the on this little dole cool thing. So let me set this up real quick. So right here. Kind of looks broken to me, but that's this plastic. Okay. Watch, let me figure this out. Stand by. Okay, my bad. I was trying to figure out how you do this. So, you you would have to have like a thin case according to what it says on the instructions. So, it is what it is. So, let's try this again. See if this works. Okay. Like you see, it works right there. And of course, let's... Uh, let me go grab a headphone jack real quick and let's see how this works with audio. So, stand by. Okay, so real quick, I got my uh, speaker, and then I connected to a 3.5. So let's see how it sounds real quick with some music. I'm only gonna I'm gonna keep this down though real fast because I don't want to get copyright strikes on YouTube. I don't know why they have to fucking be struck like that, but hey, it is what it is. Put on some ACDs real quick. Of course, you get the idea, though. You could get audio through this little thing. Real quick. Now, let's wrap up the video, shall we? Stand by. 
All right, so this is all the iPod Touch accessories that I got for the iPod Touch 7 generation. This might be the last video that I'm doing for that. So leave a comment, see what you guys think about all these. And then I'll leave the links for all these in the description if you guys want to check any of those out. But stay tuned though, I'm going to probably be doing like a new video on, you know, the beats and stuff. Talking about the real things, you know, to buy beats and stuff. So stay tuned for that video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So here's me one more time. So everything's an A plus so. though. So here's me one more time. Stand by. But yeah, like I was saying though. Like I was saying, I might, uh, watch, let me back up my camera a little bit. It's hard to sit down sometimes. But, like I was saying, stay tuned for that video, though, for the real reasons to buy Beats headphones. Is, you know, because 50 or the majority of the people, you know, buy Beats just because of the fucking look. And then the majority of the people buy it for sound, too. Which I did. I bought it for the sound, you know, for the bass. Also for the look, too. So I'm not going to lie there. Of course, if you already seen some of my Instagram photos and stuff, if you're friends with me on Instagram. But I bought it for both. But the main, the real reason I bought them for is, you know, sound quality. But I'll be doing like a video on all this later. So. Or whenever I get to that point. Because I'm going to go back to sleep. Because I got to go to work tonight. It is what it is. Pardon me. But stay tuned for that video though. Then I'm going to do a video for the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Here in the future. Because that will be my new main phone I'm going to be using. First flagship phone I'm going to be bringing to the channel though. Then I'm going to be looking into the Galaxy Buds Plus. Or the Buds Pro. Whatever one catches my eye, I guess. So. But I'm Paul Radio Man 2094. I'm out, yo. So I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> good night, guys. You guys have a good day. Good night, wherever you're at. I'm out.